Race number three is a class four. We're still on the turf for the third. This is over the 1400 uh, metres with 14 going to post, including a debutant. Aurora Pegasus heads the field, though, after running at Happy Valley. Um, finishing fifth on Wednesday night, comes up in trip here. Uh, Noble Steed, sick behind Solar Power last time. The Anomaly behind King's Capital last time out. Make It Turbo makes his debut for David Hall. Matthew Poon gets a wide gate, though, Barry number 13. Romantic Trove only beat one home last time out, but gets the inside gate this time round. Good Beauty, they switch the blinkers for the cheek pieces. King's Trooper, but he returns, the cheek pieces come off. Stunning Impact first up for the season. Golden Four up in class for his last start when beating Easy Fortune and Wa May Luck only beat one horse home behind Voyage Star when he returned over course and distance first up this campaign mark. And there is the speed map. Good to slow Andrew with Golden Four and the Jolly going back at the start. We've got uh, Romantic Trove position midfield on the rail. He's had to for he's been forced to race back plenty of times at Happy Valley but the anomaly goes to the lead. Wa May Luck is outside of him. Good Beauty the first up King's Trooper best for you. Poor old Dragon Baby covers plenty of ground. He's out there four wide around Aurora Pegasus and Make It Turbo, both with three wide cover. All right, let's uh, start off, I'm sure, with one of the ones that's going to be prominent in the market here, Paul, with the anomaly. Not forgetting about Best For You, but he weakens out of it around 12th. Um, can he improve off this run? Yeah, look, he, I think he can. Um, best For You, I, I think it was sort of he dropped right out. So with natural improvement, he can. But look, I thought it was a really good run here from the anomaly. Uh, he's... He's got barrier number six, uh, Keith's aboard. He'll go to the front. I think he's going to be tough to beat in this. He, he looks like my idea of the winner of this race. Absolutely. I thought he'd be really hard to beat too. And the King's Capital wins this. Solar Power comes again on the inside. He's in later in the program and has won since. So the form is strong around the anomaly. OK. All right. What about uh, Golden Four? He made a winning return, uh, Mark. Can he go back to back? Didn't have him in. He carries uh, absolutely no weight with Dylan Moe, 111 pounds. He's a two-time winner this class and a three-time course and distance winner. He came from a long way back here, Paul, but it was a really good ride through the centre by Blake Shen. Drawn 12, back up in grey. I think there's a few with better credentials than him. Yeah, look, he drew 12 again in this, this race and he gets back. So the, the draw uh, it's not going to be... Uh... The draw's not going to be a problem. I think the pace of the race might be a little bit, though. He got the race run to suit here and came through and, and nabbed them late. I don't think you'll get that in this race. All right. At the trials up at Chungfa, to have a look at uh, Stunning Impact as uh, he makes um, his return. What are your thoughts, Paul? Well, Stunning Impact is a horse I've, I've had in on numerous occasions, and he's still a maiden from the 17 starts. He's had four thirds. He's had the one second. Uh, fourth at his last start. Fresh up. I'm, I'm going to leave him. Found a spot for him. <laughs> because he'll do enough to get you in next time as well. His trial was really strong. Don't know if he beat a whole lot in it, though, with most of them scrubbed up behind him, but just the way he did it, and that shadow breaker running into fourth, yes. who's Frank the form on Wednesday night. Mm. So he's in, but he's a frustrating horse. Yeah, all right, that's a stunning impact. What price he come up? 9.5 is in the market, mm -hmm. so Paul, but the anomaly is our favourite. I think, yeah, and he looks the likely winner for me, the anomaly. I've got him clearly on top in this race. Got a few behind it odds. Uh, the Jolly. Uh, look, he's only had the three starts, so a reliable man. And look, I think he's a horse that hit the line really nicely last time. Uh, the earmuffs will go on him. Barry number three with a claim, only a three pound claim of Jerry Chow. He's in there for second. Romantic Trove well, has been consistent without winning. He's only had the seven starts. And El Jefe is one of 48, and he's at a rating quite similar here of 49. So I put him in for fourth. But I think the Anomaly is a bit of a standout in this race. I'm going to make him the best bet, actually, Paul. Mm. So through the Anomaly, the best bet. Keith Young takes the ride, and this race is certainly no harder than what he's been racing. Everything points to race three. Number three, stunning impact to run second. Good trial. He's back in distance first up. His record first up is not great. But uh, he is well placed here. Romantic Trove will get back and run on. And Aurora Pegasus on the quick turnaround. He comes to Chartin after racing at Happy Valley on Wednesday night. 3 12, 6 and 1. And Aurora Pegasus is my best bet on Wednesday night. I'm not prepared to jump off just yet, so we're going again. Not as a best bet, but uh, 1 and 3. My cue there in race number 3, class 4 over the 1400.